Hi, uh, um, my name is James. Uh, I'm currently a lifeguard here at Robinson Pool. Um, so one of the things we offer here is a, so it's almost like a relaxation swim where people with a variety of mental health issues can come and basically swim in an environment that's not as stressful as it would be any other time during the day. I'd say to anyone who's looking at mindful sport and thinking about, is that for me? I'd say um, there's a time in everybody's life where you might recognise that mental health is up and down and that it can be improved, whether that's stress, anxiety, depression. Um, there's always a time in the life where you might want to improve a little bit of your confidence and self-esteem. So to enable that like, relaxation factor, we get like, music on poolside, it's quite slow, steady music. And we also dim the lights, it's just to give that like, really intimate, like, relaxed feeling like you'd get almost in a spa. I personally found that sport was really good for anxiety and stress and, and getting active helped take my mind off things and I think offering these kind of sessions where people can get active and, uh, and feel a benefit is really really useful so I feel that what we're offering here for people is something a little bit different. Right. I've been here nearly four years now and since this has come in I think it's one of the best things we've actually had introduced just because it can benefit so many other people it's really quite remarkable how many people actually turn up. Hi, I'm Rachel Monton and I'm a yoga teacher and I've been running the health and well-being yoga here at the borough uh, for two years now. We've had a steady increase of people. We started with maybe two or three. People with complex needs, dual diagnosis, but mostly people with anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, but a whole myriad of problems. Um, and really the whole idea of this program is well-being. So people come along, it's a chance to not only socialize afterwards, but really relax, unwind, and work through some of the things that are going on in their lives. So we'll do postures for anxiety, we'll, we may do postures for insomnia, we may do postures for um, trauma, we may also do postures for low back uh, problems or even people who've had maybe issues with shoulders, tightness etc. Hi I'm Jenny and I've been coming to Mindfulness Yoga for about six weeks. I came, started coming to this yoga class because I was suffering with mental health issues um, and I wasn't dealing very well on my own. Within the first session, I have managed to really become a lot more positive than I was becoming. I was becoming very, very negative. Um, for me, it's very, very relaxing. You can have time to just take a bit of time out for you and to look after yourself. It's a lovely place to um, meet new people, um, to have a coffee, because afterwards you can have a coffee, have a chat, have a drink. Um, you can even have a chance to speak to Rachel, who runs the class, um, so you can perhaps ask her about a specific problem that you may be experiencing and she may be able to help you. We have a myriad of ages from people of sort of 20 right up to in their 70s. We have men and women and the idea is that as I say from the beginning we just had a few people then we were able to get more funding and now we have a, um, up to 20, 25 people but we have to actually cut it off at 20 so very often we're actually turning people away. Um, I have been teaching this yoga and also for the NHS for a number of years and I've seen people develop and grow. Some people who could hardly walk come and now are able to stand and participate in most of the yoga. And for many people that's such a massive um, improvement in their lives, the quality of their lives. Um, it's just a joy to teach and um, the programme just seems to be getting bigger and more popular. Um, and because we're turning people away, I think that clearly shows there is a need for well-being yoga.